welcome to our, this video session so in this video session we'll be discussing uh, flask which is a python uh, based micro web framework mostly used to build uh, web enabled python scripts so let us also quickly see what outcome has been planned for the following video at the end of this video the learners or the audience is expected to develop an ability to use uh, python's flask framework in building web enabled python scripts and the following should be the prerequisite for the current video build a small rest api uh, given uh, to get variables with uh, integer values this api will respond with a value which is equivalent to the addition of the two uh, variables so let us see how it is all done in uh, uh, python's flask framework so let me on e drive so it's it's my drive here within that i have created a blank uh, python file with the name uh, main.py and the same file i am editing through pycharm community id the same file is opened here so we'll start writing a code for this the first line which your python script needs to include if you want to use flask is an import statement and here what we'll do we'll use a from clause so from a module called as flask let us import an entity called as flask and uh, we do need one more import and that would be request add modules for our python script where we can run our flask so the first statement to create a flask based app is to create a variable named app and uh, we'll initialize it with the object of flask and here it will and will pass the uh, name of this uh, python module so we have initiated the app now with the help of python decorators we uh, what we do is we associate a url pattern with the method in a python so that whenever the uh, in case when whenever my uh, the development server of my flask is running in the background and whenever user requests that url pattern the associated method gets called and whatever business logic or the code which we write in that method it executes so right now we want to have a method which does the addition of a number so we will initially what we will do is we will create just a simple uh, hello world like a, a flask app and then we will modify that to uh, a rest api so that it can do addition of two get past uh, variables here so let us first only define a simple uh, a root pattern so we'll use app dot route and here we'll define the the root url pattern and so this url pattern will now be associated with a method hello So here, whatever this returns, the method hello returns, that would go as an HTTP response to the browser. So I would like to just return a small hello world statement here. Okay, that's it. So we have it. And once we define this method, we need to make sure we initiate it. So what we do here is, Generally, we compare the name to equal to main. So we want to run this through a command prompt. So we we need it so that the script uh, only initiates the Flask development uh, servers if it is run through uh, as a if it is run as a command line application. So now. I can call app dot run and I'll enable debug flag is equal to true because I want to capture the debug information as well. So this the code here. Once I have this code, what I need to do is I need to go to command prompt and run this application by using Python. And I have verified that my, my Python is 3.x. Uh, so I can now comfortably run this main.py. 
so now we have run that and you should see this output if you see this output it's a clear indication that i don't have any errors and the development server is properly running and you can see that this current web hello world web application is being served on following url 127 localhost and 5000 so let us open a browser and let's see what output it is exactly printing at that point so i have just opened this whatever the method has written what my method has written it has written hello world the same output has appeared here now the same uh, method we will now modify it so that i be i'm i'll be in a position to add two numbers and these two num values will be passed to my the flask uh, backend as a get parameters so let us see how it is done so i'll switching back to my pycharm id and let us retain this as it is and for addition let me define one more url pattern for it so now i will specifically ask it to be add so slash add i'll put one more add pattern here add slash add and now this method uh, i'll call as add and uh, after this okay let, let us just keep it as a no need to add a slash because uh, we, we need to uh, construct a query string with a get parameters so i'll just put this as add and this add will get two numbers as get parameters and uh, i would like that get parameters to be of form num1 and num2 okay so what i'll do is i'll directly return the addition of that and i i am assuming that the get variable name will be num1 and num2 so accordingly i'll create two variables to hold the values where one now i need to retrieve the value from that query string the method to retrieve that is by using request which we have already imported here request dot args dot get and just specify the name with which the get parameter will be passed so it is num1 for var1 and uh, likewise would be for var2 as well so it is var2 and here it becomes num2 once i have them in this here in this form i'll need to do an integer addition so i'll call result is equal to though since they are string i'll explicitly pass them to int so that addition of two integers happen here so i have a result variable now i will directly return result and since the return being a numeric type i'll convert that into str so let us see if this works i have saved it now uh, let me say clear screen i have my program saved here uh, let me just verify app dot root it slash add and I need to provide this two numbers as get num variables uh, integer integer addition yes so we are ready to execute it let me remove this some spaces if not required okay so let me run this once again python main dot pi yes my application is running let me move to the browser window so i'll see if my earlier hello world yes it is working now i'll try the our url so add now after add i'm supposed to pass a get parameter so it it's always starts with a separator question mark and then num1 is equal to 10 a separator and num2 is equal to 20 if if this works when i hit enter if this url works and and if my code presumably if it doesn't have uh, has any errors within that then that should return with 30 so let us see uh, it says that name one num one is not defined okay let me see this is what generally is the output when you have a improper code it's okay i think i got this it says that num one is not defined so what wrong we have done 
Well, they are not num. They are var one and var two. Okay. So let me save it and see what has. Okay. So the moment I save it, it automatically reloads it. Whenever change is detected in that, the development server just loads it. And upon loading, I don't find any error. So I, I can safely go to this and once again initiate this request again. Okay. Now you can see that it has uh, returned me the addition of two variables. So we have uh, taken a get form of request, but in some cases I might even take, a, for example, I might even prefer post method as well. So in that case, we always specify them as a string specifically here. It's a sequence of strings where it meant I, I mention a post and stuff. So even this works. So let me see. Yes. No error. Once again, I'll hit enter. So you will once again find that. For example, now if I make it as 25, you should see 35. Okay. But now remember that now since we have added a method, so now this method uh, can uh, accept. So this the de decorator root add can now and this entire the flask setup here can accept uh, HTTP get based request as well as post based request as well. So if you do not specify it, the by default is get for this video what do you think does plus support post method you can pause the video and uh, just go back few slides back and you can uh, rewatch the video and you can uh, guess the answer from earlier video part uh, the answer is yes it does support we have seen that how it is done we put uh, when we are running that when we are defining a me method in um, apps decorator root so I'll show you as a quick so I'll do a control Z and I'll show you that's how we add a support for Python method, for post methods. So that's it for this video. And uh, a curious readers can go in detail through the official Plus tutorial and documentation to explore far more powerful capabilities of uh, Flask micro web framework in Python. Thank you.